I used to read about setting goals in nearly every single self-help or self-development success book I've read. In every video I saw, in every lecture, they would always say, you know, the first thing about being a successful person, high-performance person, is to set goals. And this sounded so fucking cliché that I completely went over it. So I would listen, I would write, you know, notes, I would look for golden nuggets... And whenever somebody would say, you need to set goals, it's as if I had the assumption that I was already setting goals because I looked at myself as a successful person. I looked at myself as an accomplished person. But then when I would actually sit down, and this happened a few weeks ago, I would sit down and ask myself, How many goals did you set in the last week or in the last month? How many? How many things, how many times did you actually sit and decide on something you want to accomplish and actually commit to it? There's so many things that I want to accomplish, but, but goals are not desires. Here's the thing. I want to make a million dollars is not a goal. It's a desire. I will make a million dollars is a statement. It's not a, a goal. A goal means I will accomplish this by that time or I will do everything in my power to accomplish something and I will not stop until I accomplished it so for example if you're Elon Musk and your goal is to send a man to the moon to sorry to the Mars and basically colonize it you can't really say it has to be done by this date, although you can as a deadline, as a sort of a benchmark, but you're actually working towards it, so he's doing it every single day. But just saying I want it to happen is not a goal. So when I had this epiphany that I'm not actually setting goals, I'm just thinking about things I really want to accomplish, I really blew my mind because I realized I've really been stagnating where I could have taken so much action so from that day what I started doing was uh, sitting down with myself asking myself what I want to accomplish in various areas of life and I started setting goals for example one goal is actually a habit I'm going to go back to meditating for 10 minutes every day that was one goal which is a habit Another goal was I'm going to go back to making two videos every day. That's also a goal which is a habit. Most of my goals are geared towards habits. And I find that I do it almost to a fault. So on one level, setting up habits is incredibly important. But on another level, I find that I am using it to also avoid setting concrete goals. So instead of, I will work out in the gym four times a week or five times a week, the goal could be, I'm going to lift this much more weight by that time. So that's definitely something that I should put more attention to. But... I would urge you to sit down with yourself and ask yourself, am I really setting goals? When was the last time I sat down and wrote something that I want to accomplish, stuck a date to it, a very specific date, and committed to a plan of accomplishing it? 
Again, this is the key part, committing. Because just saying, I will accomplish this by then, usually is not enough. And let me tell you that if it's a big enough goal, it's not enough. So I've talked about this in a few videos ago, but just to reiterate, when you set a goal, you have to set a equal sacrifice for what will happen if you do not accomplish that goal. Because it's much easier to you run a lot faster when there's a lion chasing you than when there's a million dollars where you're where you're running to. You'll run the fastest if there's a million dollars at the end and a lion is chasing you. But if only one motivation was there, like either the million dollars or a predator chasing you, the predator would always win in the motivation test. So do not underestimate the power of having something to lose. I'll say it again one final time. Ask yourself if you've neglected looking into the future picking out a future that you would like to create setting a date for when you're going to already create that future building a plan and then committing to that plan and to that date by risking something to make it real and if you sacrifice well, if your sacrifice is good enough, you've chosen carefully something that appeases the gods, you will get what you desire. And trust me, I've been through some crazy shit in my life. I made extreme sacrifices to get what I wanted. And when the sacrifice was right... No matter how crazy it was, no matter how bad it got, I always ended up getting what I want. If the sacrifice is right, you will get what you wanted. So when you set that goal with the deadline, even if you don't have a plan, if you commit properly, you will get what you want. That's all I have to say for now.